Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Wait a minute. Alright, that's better. Welcome back to the channel everyone. I'm doing a book review and it's my first manga spooky book review. Yeah. And I'm actually pretty excited. I read Uzumaki. I still have been trying to figure out how I want to like approach this because Uzumaki is just absolutely wild. Like I learned quickly reading this book that uh, I don't really deal with spirals anymore and I also don't like snails. Especially snails. Um, before I get talking about the story, I want to talk about the art. Now the art honestly makes, I mean it makes sense because it's a manga, but the art of this whole story is just absolutely bananas. There are so many parts in this where I was just, I felt so uncomfortable. And I actually enjoyed it. <laughs> like, I actually had a good time reading this because I didn't really focus on the story as much. The story was really good anyways, but the art alone just kept me so invested in this story that I just couldn't believe how wild it would get. Every single chapter would progressively get weirder and i really enjoyed it but the story is a it's pretty weird and you start out with so when i first was reading this i actually thought it was like a short story like every chapter was just a short story which it kind of is in a way and it's written in first person and then how the book ends you're like sitting back you're like hmm, interesting but it's a small town where weird things are happening and a father is like obsessed with spirals for like a weird reason. Like the main character. I'm sorry. But I can't remember their names for the life of me. And I'm like why? She was. The girl was walking home from school. And she saw her boyfriend's dad. Like in an alleyway. And he was like look at a snail spiral. And it's like a really small snail. And she just kept there. And like was looking at him. And then eventually she told her boyfriend about it. And he was just like. Yeah I don't know. Dad's just been weird. And then I'll set. Then I'll. You do. You can. You. You want. You want him to do you so much you then already the dad just started being like obsessed with like spirals and to me reading this i know he has one called spiral even though now i'm noticing it's a spiral into horror interesting anyways i know he has another one called spiral and i almost read that one instead of uzumaki but i just know uzumaki is like one of the more popular ones so is spiral you know i don't know where i'm leaving with that part the dad actually becomes like obsessed with spirals and there's some grotesque things that happens throughout this book where and like it, it literally is involved around with spirals. That's why I was like, should I read Spiral next? Is it like a continuation? If it is, you guys should let me know because that'd be really cool. Anyway, so the father, like I said, is so obsessed with spirals. He like will like stare at spirals. Anything that's a spiral, he's just like obsessed with it. And he like lifts his glasses up and his eyes are like doing a spiral. You're like what is going on and like i said this is like the first like two chapters of this book so it really just sets the tone quickly of how bizarre this world is and i never really thought that spirals would be so spooky and weird like i i never thought it would be but holy crap this was just really good with this aspect of it and like i said they were like trying to find their dad like the the wife and the uh boyfriend were like looking for his dad and <laughs> They found him in like this like pool thing and he was a spiral and he was dead and then they like cremated him and then he went up to the sky and then like you could see his face and the wife was like obsessed with like spirals too but she was like scared of him. So that was actually a really interesting concept as well is like she was just terrified of these spirals and she was to the point where she was like cutting her skin because you could have like spirals on the tips of your you know your fingers because if you look at them you could see spiral imprints on your fingerprints and she was just like i have to get rid of them and she was going absolutely bananas and the whole scene was just grotesque and i was like holy crap this is wow and they really i think the author did a great job of just setting the tone of how bizarre everything is and what blows my mind is like the boyfriend kept telling his girl he's like yeah we need to leave and she's like yeah, but I can't because my family. And I'm like, bro, I would have left after I saw that. I wouldn't care. I'm sorry. Maybe this is a hot take. I don't think it is. But, like, if my girl didn't want to leave and I was just, like, parentless now, I would have left. 
yeah, the spirals are insane, but I would have just left anyways. Just saying. But in all, this book is just nuts. I I have a really hard time trying to explain this because I, I don't want to like spoil anything. I kind of want everyone else to like read this just so they can also experience just those just everything like and the story actually does a really good job at first i was really questioning it it felt like it was just every chapter was like a short story but eventually it all led into the same thing so i'm like oh okay that makes sense but holy crap this is just it was really good i mean this is my first time reading like a horror manga and i'm not gonna lie it was a knockout i think i gave it a five out of five because it was just so good and the snails I'm telling you guys, the snails are grotesque. One of the chapters where the family is in like this old shack and everyone was getting these like diseases where they were like getting like little weird like thorns essentially on them. And it's weird. I was more uncomfortable with that scene when I was seeing like those little like designs than actually like the snails. Granted, the snails are pretty gross. Like the snails in general were pretty messed up and the concept behind it was such a cool idea. And I was like, dang, this is a 10 out of 10 knockout. But, like, those little thorn things, I don't know why. Like, I'm getting, like, goosebumps just thinking about how, like, gross it was. And I don't know why, but those are what grossed me out more than anything else. Which is interesting to think about it. But, yeah, that really just, it made me uncomfortable. Because they were, like, showing, like, their foot. They would lift their foot up. And you could see them, and they're like, oh, I can't walk. It hurts too much to walk. And I'm like, ooh, what is going on? What are these things? And like I said, right now, like my head right now is I'm like thinking about it and I'm getting like chills just thinking about those images. And that's the thing too, are the images in here are so detailed and they're honestly really good. Like the way he has drawn these do does just make it so uncomfortable. And I think that's a really important thing, obviously, because of this manga and that's just reading it. But the way he has, he draws things are just so disturbing and I love it. <laughs> So yeah, this is my first experience reading Uzumaki, and I think next year I'll read Spiral. Maybe not even next Halloween. Maybe. We'll see. But I actually want to read more of his books, because these are just so good, and we're going to see what happens. But I, I want to read, because they have a Frankenstein manga. It's just, you know, Frankenstein except it's manga form. No way! Which is kind of cool. I want to get into that. But I want to do Spiral. I want to do Tomi, and he has a couple other ones I want to get into. So maybe throughout the year of this year and then maybe next year before Halloween, I'll get into more of them because they're just so good. They're really interesting. And I like Uzumaki a lot. I think Uzumaki was definitely a 5 out of 5. Easily now in my top 10 favorite like spooky books of the year. Easily. Without a doubt. It was just so creepy and I loved it. If you made it to the end of the video, I do appreciate it. Make sure you guys check out all my links down below. Check out Uzumaki if you guys haven't. If you're not even into manga and you want to like get into like spooky manga, definitely check out Uzumaki. Uzumaki is really good. Like, holy crap. And when you check out all the links, if you guys want to, my book is available on Amazon. And make sure you leave a review on it if you guys do read it. That'd be really appreciative. Check me out on Instagram. I want to follow, follow me. I'll follow you back. I want to see what you guys are reading. I'm posting a bunch of book content on there for reviews. And I'm posting updates of my weight loss journey. And add me on Goodreads. Then you guys see what I'm reading currently. And then I can see what you guys are reading. I want to be friends with you guys on Goodreads. I'm almost to 150 friends on there, which is awesome. Good start. And of course, last but not least, make sure you guys stay safe, stay hungry, and tell someone you love them. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.